Hello there friends and welcome back to the Marley Bird YouTube channel and the Christmas Stocking Mystery Make Along. This is a free pattern and event available over at MarleyBird.com. I'll put a link in the video description box down there below. Simply click that link and it will take you to the blog post that will give you all the information you need for this pattern. So really, that blog post is all you need. When it's time for the next section, go to that URL, click the link to the instructions, and you're ready to get started. By this point, you have completed your cuff, and if you remember at video one, I was working on this little tiny cuff, and it's actually too small for me to work on the leg, so I've made a larger one here to continue on uh, with the instructions. But this is what you have completed. So you have the outside of the cuff, and on the inside, that's where you have the loop that your stocking will hang from, okay? And at the end of the first set of instructions, it said to change colors and then chain one. So this is where I am. I've cut my color A and I'm ready to change colors. So I am going to pick up my color B. And I will let you guys know that color B and color D are next to each other throughout the entire pattern. So when you're trying to decide what color to choose, you want to choose the colors that really look great side by side. So my color B and color D are two shades of blue, um, and I thought it looked really great like that. All right, so I've changed colors and I've chained one, all right, so that's my chain one, and I would carry on with my pattern by turning my work and then working single crochets all the way around. So this is just like what we did for the cuff, only now we have changed colors. The other thing you will note as you're working throughout the pattern is you change colors every two rows. And I will have you cut the yarn at the color changes because I want you to use those tails to seam up any holes you might get or to just better weave in the colors when your stocking is complete, okay? I know there are gonna be some of you out there that are rebels who are just like, I'm gonna carry up my colors and make it work. You can do that. I'll just let you know that in the notes of this pattern, you'll see that I mentioned cutting the color each time you change color. And you will change color every two rounds, okay? So I'm going to get to the end of this round with my color B. I will join with a slip stitch just like we've been doing. I will chain one and turn, and then work another round of single crochet. It's on my second round that I will change colors and we will go into the star stitch. All right, let me get all the way, all the way over here. And no, I do not crochet over my ends. I don't think it looks nice. <laughs> All right, so I've joined with my slip stitch, I chain one, I turn, and I carry on. Go ahead and complete your next round, and then we'll get started with the star stitch. When you work your last single crochet, go ahead and join with a slip stitch to the first stitch of the round, and now we're going to change color. So I haven't turned or anything yet, right? I want to go ahead and I will pull in my color C. I'm gonna use a purple for my color C, and I will work three chains at my color chain. So I'm just gonna, so that would be one, two, three. Now, typically I would change colors at the slip stitch join, but I felt that this really didn't matter too much as I was working on my sample. It didn't matter if I changed colors at the slip stitch join or not. And I found when I changed colors at the slip stitch, all of my tails were on the outside of my stocking and I didn't like that. So I change colors right after I do my slip stitch. So the first chain will be the opposite, the color I just finished, and then I'll have two chains of the color I'm using. Now I am gonna go ahead and cut my color B so that I can get it out of the way. Yes, that means I'm gonna have lots of tails, but that is okay. That's part of crocheting. I love weaving in ends. You should too. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to work the star stitch. Now the star stitch is a series of pulled up loops in, in the stitches indicated. So. We begin by pulling up a loop in the second chain from hook and the third chain from hook. So I'll go into the second chain from hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, and the third chain from hook, yarn over, pull up a loop. Now, 
I want to go into the first stitch of the row. I will insert my hook, yarn over, pull up a loop. The next stitch of the row, yarn over, pull up a loop, and the third stitch of the row. Now, before I continue on, I want you to note that we, are, we will work into the edge of this stitch and we will work again into this stitch when we get to the next step, okay? So I have six loops on my hook. I yarn over and draw through all six loops. Then I chain one. Now that chain one creates essentially an eye of the star stitch, so right there. That would be our chain one space that we're going to be working into. So it creates an eye of the star stitch. This eye of the star stitch will also be where we place our two half double crochets on the next round. So it's really important that you know where that eye or the, the hole or the chain one is, okay? So what we are gonna do now is we're gonna pull up a loop right here in this chain one space. We're gonna pull up a loop into that leg right there that I pointed out at the uh, before I did my yarn over and pull through. We're gonna pull up a loop right here into that same stitch that this one goes was worked into before. And then we'll yarn over, pull up a loop into the next stitch over and the next stitch over. So we wanna get back to six loops, okay? So here we go. We have one loop on our hook. We go into the chain one, yarn over, pull up. We go into the leg of that last loop we pulled up, yarn over and pull up. We're gonna go into that last stitch we worked into before, yarn over, pull up a loop, and now I'll work into the next two stitches. So insert, yarn over, pull up, insert, yarn over, pull up. So I have six loops on my hook, yarn over, draw through all six loops, chain one. We're creating one half of the star here, and we complete the star after the next round. So this full round is just setting up our star, and so we're gonna repeat this course of action all the way around. We will go into the chain one, yarn over, pull up a loop, into the leg of that last loop we pulled up, yarn over, pull up a loop, into the last stitch we worked into, yarn over, pull up, and then work into the next two stitches in the same way. Six loops on our hook, yarn over, draw through all six loops, chain one. Okay, I'm gonna keep doing this all the way around. And what you will notice is you will have, let me, let me finish this before I start to talk. You will have the number of stars completed that is essentially half the number of stitches that you are working with. So if you happen to be working with 49 stitches, we would subtract one, okay? So subtract one because our first star we use up three stitches, but all the other ones we use up two stitches. So we would take 49, subtract one, and then we would take the 48 we have remaining and divide that by two, which gives us 24. So if you had 49 stitches, you would end up with 24 star stitches, okay? I'm gonna keep working around just like this. It's pretty easy, pretty rhythmic. I mean, each time we work around, you're just picking up two extra stitches on the actual body of the fabric, remember? Because as we go into the chain one, we go into the loop, we go into a stitch we've already worked into, and now we do two extras. When you get to the last chain one, you will join with the slip stitch to the third chain of your beginning chain, okay? Join with the slip stitch. And I wanna pause right here. I'm gonna mark where I joined and you're gonna see why I marked that. Okay, I'm gonna mark it so that we can find where that is. Let me make sure that doesn't go anywhere. So I've marked that. Yes, I have a little bit of a hole. It's totally okay. I can seam that close with my tail. I'll also give you a tip after I complete all of this on how I close up my holes so that I don't have to worry about them, but I'll save that to the very end. Okay, so just wait for that. But here we go. We've joined with our slip stitch. Now we want to chain two. 
and turn. Now this chain two counts as a half double crochet. So I'm gonna take another marker and I'm gonna place it into the loop behind the loop that's on my hook, okay? So that way I know that's where I'm gonna join with my slip stitch at the end of this round. Now you'll notice in the instructions, it says half double crochet in the same stitch as the join. So we joined into that stitch right there, okay? And that's why I had you mark it, because I'm gonna have you place a half double crochet into that same stitch. So it kind of crosses a little bit in front of those chain threes, not really, but I want you to put a half double crochet into that same stitch. That's why I had you mark it. All right, so now I can take this marker out. Now, working around this um, leg and into each one of those chain one spaces. Remember I mentioned that those were like the center of the star, it's like the eye of the star. We wanna place two half double crochets in each eye of the star. So we're going to go to the first eye of the star and do two half double crochets and then go to the next one and do the same thing. And we'll do this all the way around. And what you will notice is that will give you an even number of stitches at that point, okay? Because we have a, the chain two that we did counts as a half double. We did our first half double and now we're doing two half doubles into each one. So when we get to the end of this round, we'll have an even number of stitches, but we want to get back to the odd number of stitches we began with, okay? And we'll do that by placing a half double crochet into the space after the chain one at the very end of this round. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm simply just working around, making sure I place two half doubles into each one of those eye stitches. Okay. This round goes really fast after the last round. Make sure I get each and every one of them. go. I have one more. And here's where I'm going to have you place an extra stitch. So because I want an odd number of stitches, I have found this was really the, the, it made it look the best and I didn't get a hole. I want you to place a half double crochet essentially through what would, this was one of the loops of the first star. It's, I called it the space after the chain one space. So it's like kind of this, this weird sort of non-stitch space. I want you to place a half double crochet there. Then you will join with the slip stitch to that chain there that I had marked. Okay, so that joins with your slip stitch. And it's at this point we wanna change colors again. So I can go ahead, I'm gonna cut this was my color C, and I will go back to my color B, okay? So every time I do a star stitch, whatever color is essentially before it, I, I, I bracket that star stitch. So I have blue, purple, I'm gonna go back to blue, okay? So if you get lost with letters and stuff, that's essentially what we're doing. So I'm back to blue and I chain one and I turn. All right, yes, I have a hole there, but remember I can use my tail to seam up that hole. Now I'm gonna work two rounds of single crochet, and you should be back to the same number of stitches that you started with. If you have one more or one too few, simply fudge it and kind of get rid of one or add one in there, but you need to get back to the same number of stitches you started with. What you will be doing is working two rounds of single crochet with color B, then we will do two rounds of single crochet with color D, and then we will work two rounds of the star stitch with color E. You continue on then, you go back to color D and work two rounds of single crochet. And that will bring you to the end of the instructions for this part of the stocking. So here I am, I'm gonna get back over here and just so that you can 
let's see once again how to do that join join with a slip stitch chain one and turn okay so at this point if you wanted to if you're just like oh I can't stand the way that hole looks I want to show you how easy this is to close this up with our tail so I'm just using a bent tip tapestry needle I've thread my color let's see this would be color C onto my needle I'm gonna bring that over you see I just came over and I just picked up right there I'm gonna pop over here pick up that pop down here and come back down it's really just closing it up see super easy it's not that difficult at all okay now I did promise to show you guys my little trick so that I don't have to do any of this sewing to close up the hole. So let me get to a point in my little stocking here that I can show you my little trick, okay? All right, I've worked several rounds and I am starting what would be my color E and I am beginning my star stitch here. So I thought I would just show you once again how you start the beginning of the round. So you can see I pulled up from the second loop, the third loop, and then the first three stitches. And then I yarn over, pull through all six loops, chain one, and carry on. So as long as I do this all the way around, I will end up with the same number of star stitches as I had after the first time I did the star stitches. Let me go ahead and work all the way around until I get back over here and I'll show you my little trick to close that hole. All right, so I'm finishing up my last star stitch here. Now here's what I do. You know if you're doing something like the Catherine's wheel or you're doing um, like a, a double crochet something together to kind of close a hole, you're filling in a space or a gap, that's what I'm gonna do. So before I join with a slip stitch right here, I'm going to go ahead and pick up a loop from my eye just like I did, pick up a loop from my last loop like I've been doing and I'm going to pick up a loop into the stitch I've been working into like I've been doing. Now I put the third chain on my hook and yarn over and draw through all of them. So I'm not creating another star because I'm not actually creating a star here because as I've done the slip stitch like this is my slip stitch right I've pulled it all over and I've joined with the slip stitch but it's closed that gap. So now, again, let's mark that's the stitch I joined into. So this is where I would chain two and turn, work my first half double crochet into that same space that I did my join. Okay, this is where I'll mark that second chain for the half double, okay? And now I carry on working around. I ignore anything else that was right there. I go right to the eye and I work my two half doubles. See that? So I've essentially filled in what would have been a hole, like what we created before, with a bunch of yarn over and pull up a loops. So that way I don't have to seam a hole. And it just makes it really pretty and that doesn't add any extra stitches it just filled in the gap with the yarn and so that is how I get rid of that hole that is created there at the end and you could do that as well or you could just use your tail and seam it up like I did you have to weave in your tail anyway so it's not like it's any extra work by any means um, and it closes it up nice and neat I'm gonna to get to the end of this round here so that I can pause and we can take a look at what we've created. And then I'll let you go to finish up this portion of the mystery make along. And then you can catch up on the next video for the next portion. Hopefully you're enjoying this so far. I know I am. I like making things with all of you. It's a lot of fun. All right, so I'm coming up to the end of my round that's my last eye that was my join so this would be the space after my eye so I'm just gonna 
come into there. Oops, I got to yarn over. And come into there, and do my half double. Can remove that orange marker. And then it's where that blue marker is. That's where I want to join with my slip stitch. So I'm going to remove that. Join with my slip stitch there. Give that a pull. This is where I will change colors. So I'm going to go ahead, snip my color E. I'm going to go back to color D. Remember I said that on either side of the star, I essentially go back to the same color. So this is where I would chain one and turn. And I usually will take my tails and just pull them to the back. And then I carry on. I think I just accidentally crocheted over them. Didn't mean to do that. I carry on with my single crochets all the way around. And it's usually on this round that I will count my single crochets to make sure I have the correct number. And it should be the same number of single crochets that we started with. Let's pause right there. Okay. So this would be, let's see, this would be round 11. And then the next single crochet round would be round 12. But this is what we've created so far. So we have the cuff. And then this would be round one and two, round three and four, five and six, seven, eight, nine and ten. And this would be eleven and twelve. But we have these really nice star stitches separated by single crochets. And you see how I mentioned that color B and color D, they are side by side the whole time because you'll go from B to D and then you do your star stitch and then B to D and then you do a star stitch. Okay. So it's really good if you can get those two colors to look great together. And I love the idea of doing two different shades of the same color. I think it looks really cool. It reminds me of a candy cane. All right. So go ahead and complete your homework, get through round 12 and then join me back here for video number three. Make sure you get that pattern. It's at that blog link that I've provided in the video description box and we'll be ready to carry on with the rest of the leg and prepare for the heel. So lots to go still. Let's do this. Thanks so much for joining me on the Marley Bird YouTube channel. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to hit subscribe. I've put a link right over there, or you can watch a couple of the videos I've already selected for you right down there. If you want to follow me on social media, I've put my links right over there. You can have all Marley all the time. Bye guys.